the Lord Jehovah, the God of Israel, Jehovah Elion, he has spoken with me about the need for the nation of Germany to repent. The Lord Jehovah, the God of heaven, Jehovah El Olam, he has spoken with me about the nation of Germany. And in this conversation, the Lord has commanded me to command the nation of Germany to wake up from slumber and to realize that the hour at which the nations are deliberately and intentionally preparing for the glorious coming of the Messiah is now. The Lord has given me this firm instruction to the nation of Germany to let them know that this is the hour at which the church world over is preparing the glorious garment, the garment of righteousness, the garment of salvation, the garment of holiness, so that they may enter the eternal glorious kingdom of God. German people are wise people. They are wise in the things of the world. They are wise in understanding. They are able to tell that when you look across the globe now, the happenings across the globe, surely something must have changed in the spiritual realm. When you look at, for example, the most recent August 17th, 2017, collision of the two neutron stars deep into deep space. That can only tell you, Germany, that something has changed. Because never ever has it happened before. And that's why the Lord is bringing to you now the nation of Germany this very important announcement that the Messiah is coming. And that because the Messiah is coming, the hour to repent and turn away from sin and receive Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior is now. That as the nations prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah, Germany cannot be left out. The Lord is saying, Germany has a role, has a role, has a purpose in this end revival. The Lord is saying that just as Germany now is the economic powerhouse of Europe, so if Germany at this hour embraces the announcement and the gospel and the moment of the repentance revival that beholds now. She can as well also be the revival powerhouse, the revival bedrock, the revival platform for Europe now. He says you have a role. That if Germany can catch this end time revival that prepares the way, the glorious way for the glorious coming of the Messiah, Germany, number one, would see the eternal kingdom of God. Why do I say so? Because the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, he says, make every effort to live in peace with all men. All. And to be holy. And then he concludes by saying, For without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. So this becomes a real watershed moment for Germany. That if Germany can catch this command and decree of the Lord, and that if the wisdom of the Germans don't fail them, and they obey this call to repentance. And Germany begins a wave of national repentance. 
He says, the biggest end-time revival in Europe would break out in Germany. And he says, that if that revival breaks out in Germany, Germans would see the eternal kingdom of God. Right now in Germany, homosexuality is a problem. It is running out of control. You hear the LGBT, lesbianism, gay, homosexuals, the gay pride. Those are the deceptions of this hour and you know it. You know it. The Lord is calling for repentance from homosexuality that is so rife, has proliferated across the entire German, all the way from Dresden, from Hamburg in the north, all the way down to München, Stuttgart, all those south areas. All the way from, from Koblenz, from Marburg, from Bonn, I mentioned Stuttgart, Frankfurt, Gießen, Hollenheim, Dresden, Berlin. The Lord is calling for repentance. He's calling the land and the nation of Germany to a national repentance. That homosexuality has taken place in your land. You must repent, Germany. And the Lord is calling the church in Germany and the Christian, the body of Christ, the Christian believers, calling them into repentance. Why? Because of the lukewarm Christianity they have embraced and adopted and thrown out the gospel of the original cross, the original blood at Calvary, the original gospel. The gospel of purity, the gospel of holiness, the gospel of righteousness, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Messiah. Germans have taken unto themselves the role of hewning and crafting a modern gospel unto themselves. A gospel that embraces modernism, postmodernism, that you see in Germany. But he's saying the hour for Germany to return to the original gospel of the cross is now. And he says that can only happen through the observance of a national repentance. And he says if Germany does not repent from the false prophets, false apostles, homosexuality, immorality, pastors in sexual sin, pastors in immorality, pornography, modernism, worldliness, heathenism, secularism. This secular living in the German church that if you don't repent, I see a storm coming in the north of Germany, one of the shows, it looks me more towards kill, that northern side of Germany, I see a storm winding. I see a storm already tornadoing, pulling, a storm in the ocean, coming, a storm like a hurricane coming on Germany. If Germany does not repent, this will take place. And when this does happen, Germany shall know in the world that the Lord, He is God, the Lord Jehovah, he is the eternal king. And apart from him, there is no savior. And that I am his servant. And that the Messiah is coming. And that this is the hour the nations should embrace repentance. And that the mouth of the Lord, for sure, yes, he has spoken with you. Shalom.